Know about the pathophysiology of nicotine withdrawal. In this video, you will learn about the pathophysiology of nicotine withdrawal. This includes what nicotine is, the effects of nicotine on the brain and body, symptoms of nicotine withdrawal, how to assess patients for nicotine withdrawal. What is nicotine? Nicotine is one of 4,000 chemicals contained in cigarettes and cigarette smoke. It is also found in chewing tobacco and some e-cigarettes. Nicotine is highly addictive and is the component of cigarettes that is associated with the development of addiction or dependence. However, it is not known to cause chronic health conditions or cancer. What is nicotine's effect on the brain and body? The effect of nicotine on the brain and body is complex and involves different areas of the brain and body, as well as different neurotransmitters. When cigarette smoke is inhaled, nicotine, along with the other chemicals contained in cigarette smoke, travel quickly through the lungs into the bloodstream. Nicotine moves through the bloodstream and reaches the brain where it exerts its effects. Nicotine attaches to nicotine receptors in the brain. The attachment of nicotine to these areas in the brain leads to the release of dopamine in the areas of the brain associated with pleasure and reward. The release of dopamine causes the pleasant effects associated with smoking. Nicotine also causes the release of other chemicals in the body, such as norepinephrine, leading to other effects of cigarettes, such as increased blood pressure and decreased appetite. With repeated exposure to nicotine, a person can become dependent on or addicted to nicotine. When someone is addicted to nicotine, they will continue to smoke in order to maintain a certain amount of nicotine in their body. Symptoms of nicotine withdrawal. When the amount of nicotine goes below a certain level, for example, when a person is not able to smoke for a longer period of time than they are used to, they will experience withdrawal symptoms from the lack of nicotine. These symptoms trigger the person to smoke again in order to restore nicotine levels and therefore relieve their symptoms. Symptoms of nicotine withdrawal can include cravings for nicotine or cigarettes, headache, nausea, diarrhea, fatigue or tiredness, difficulty concentrating, insomnia, irritability, agitation, anxiety, decreased mood, increased appetite. Symptoms of nicotine withdrawal are very uncomfortable for many people who smoke, particularly people who smoke a high number of cigarettes per day. When patients are in the hospital and unable to leave the unit to smoke, these withdrawal symptoms can worsen agitation or symptoms of delirium, leading to increased patient exposure to sedative or antipsychotic medication or the use of restraints. The experience of nicotine withdrawal has linked to increased morbidity in critically ill patients and increased agitation and aggression in patients in psychiatric acute care settings. How to assess for nicotine withdrawal. Start by determining how many cigarettes the patient smokes per day. Ask the patient if they are experiencing cravings for cigarettes or nicotine. Ask the patient about specific withdrawal symptoms they may be experiencing. Some questions include, are you feeling more frustrated or angry? Are you feeling more anxious or nervous than usual? How has your sleep changed since you have been in the hospital? Are you experiencing a headache or cramps? Look for early signs of nicotine withdrawal, such as irritability, frustration, restlessness or lack of patience, craving to smoke, nausea. In patients who are able to eat, increased appetite can be a symptom of nicotine withdrawal. Poor sleep may be an indication of nicotine withdrawal as well. 
In this video, you learned about the pathophysiology of nicotine withdrawal. This includes what nicotine is, the effects of nicotine on the brain and body, symptoms of nicotine withdrawal, how to assess patients for nicotine withdrawal.